Okay guys, it's okay to do one second in the camera. And today I'm going to show you how to use the cutout feature on the Adobe um, Photoshop Mix to how I use it. What I do is I zoom into what I'm going to add with the brush, not the smart. Or I go in the basic and then I go into the brush and I set a big one have full hardness so i don't have all that crap around it i go into the middle of what i'm doing what i'm adding to the picture what i don't want to be transparent and i'm super zoomed into it you see i don't do the edges I just do the main parts of it. Oops, I did an edge. You see, here's where we go out with our eraser and just fill that in. Even if you do do it perfect, it might not look good in the end. Or it might not look the best in the end. You see, if I go out right now, that's all I got. Let me zoom in. I'm just getting my Angry Birds pigs and making them like for a poster thingy. You see, that's how it's cut. Now let's go back in the cutout and do the third piggy. You see? You can also use a touch pen. I might have shown you that. I might do it in the next clip. But probably not. I'll show you what a touch pen is, if you don't know. Oops, I went to the edge. Don't go too fast. Just go to the middle. You see, it doesn't look very good. I'll go on to the next clip right now. The touch buttons. After a, while, after a while, I got the final result. It might not be the best, but I tried. Thank you all for watching. It's okay to do signing off. Oh, and by the way, once you are done with your nail, don't forget to save it by clicking the arrow coming out of the box or square. Click it and go to. You want to save it onto your camera roll, um, so you have it as a photo. Click on camera roll. Completed. Okay. And you're done. So, day to do. Signing off. Thanks for watching. Bye.